What's going on guys, it's Keyblade with the 230 and I'm here playing the Early Access Beta for PlayStation for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I wanted to actually stream this footage at first, but I honestly wasn't feeling up to it. I am barely starting to feel better. I actually recorded a couple videos in the background for JoJo All-Star Battle R and for Spider-Man PS4. As I started progressively feeling better, I was at a con recently and I started feeling sick and... I just could not record anything without feeling completely horrible, so I'm sorry for the delay in content. Those two series are going to be ongoing, and I am still intending on doing some more Doom gameplay, but I just haven't gotten around to it. At least not yet. So while I'm waiting for some friends, I'm just going to be playing a couple of solo matches, get a feel for the game and see how that goes. I just wanted to go ahead and get some gameplay out there for you guys to enjoy, and um... Once my regular sessions start going on with some friends, then I'll go ahead and start making some uh, edited videos for you guys. I don't want to ramble on too long, so let's go ahead and jump into the beta. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And feel free to follow me on social media. I am actually going to be linking my Instagram page where I'm going to be posting more updates. I'm going to try to be a little bit more active on that page. As always, I hope you guys are having a good time, and let's go ahead and jump in, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Friendly UAV on station. <laughs> Holy shit, the guns have a punch. Everybody's all above me. Changing Max! I've lost the lead! I was not expecting the guns to honestly sound that vicious. I really love that. Modern Warfare's sound design was great, but... God damn! Yo, I, I just realized he slid. I thought dolphin diving was the only option. Oh, you have the choice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mission failed. Return to base. 
Popular spot is on top of that building. Was I really the only one died during that shit? What the hell? <laughs> I was not expecting to get that gun actually. I just somehow saw him. Our UAV is in the area. Thankfully too. <laughs> That noise. <laughs> Go 
Contact in this area. I don't know what I was thinking going against Great Houdini. <laughs> One requesting recon at this time. Copy that. UAV online and all. Okay, so first impressions out the way. Um, this beta is actually looking to be pretty decent, actually. The sound is definitely the thing that is catching my attention at first. The audio design is actually pretty decent. Um, I think what's really catching me is that I'm noticing the way you walk actually does matter because when you're walking upstairs versus when you're walking on the ground, you can actually hear the difference. Um... I don't know how this translates to like home theaters and such, but for but for headsets for sure, yeah, no, it it definitely feels feels really good to hear. And there's a lot of interesting changes that changes the meta of the game. Now, I'm a Call of Duty player, I ain't a seasoned veteran or anything, so I don't really know what I'm getting into other than but it looks like there could be a lot of interesting dynamics with the way score streaks and perks are laid out. Because not everybody seems to be running the same kind of setup. You would basically want to have situational classes rather than a, I'm going to go and tank everything, I'm going to go rush down. Which, speaking of, this game feels like, yeah, you can go ahead and rush down enemies and take them down, but you're a lot more vulnerable, especially by sound, unless you have the preparations for that. 
To me, I felt very much more comfortable just uh, not really running and gunning, to be honest. However, this looks to be a more tactical-based Call of Duty, at least from what I'm playing so far. And I really enjoy that. Uh, there really seems to be a dynamic between the team. If you're playing as a team, you know, directly or indirectly, it does help a lot because if you're trying to be the lone wolf, try to get every single kill, it's not really going to work out for you. Unfortunately, there's just too much going on for you to just run around and do whatever. I've been completely mauled by even trying that and I had to change my approach a little bit. Again, I'm not the greatest player, so hey, what do I know? But this is just what I'm getting the vibe, at least from what the developers are pushing with this title. So I gotta say off the bat, yeah, actually this was uh, pretty fun to jump into for a couple matches and uh, get a feel for the game before we actually, you know, start making some content around it. <laughs> There's a lot of customization with the settings and such too, so... Um, this is a game I feel like you can actually just pick up and play and uh, find your way around. Otherwise, there are some other Call of Duties to where if you ain't running this gun, if you ain't running these kind of perks, you're basically screwed. Uh, this one, I feel like you have a little bit more of a chance to make it your own. Again, this is just for the time being. I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of changes, especially when Battle Pass is involved. That is basically going to diminish this factor. And uh, let's be real, it, it it's going to get that way. I wouldn't go ahead and say go ahead and pre-order immediately. Uh, there's still some things that I'm kind of worrying about in terms of longevity. But if you love Modern Warfare 2019, I would say this is a good step in the right direction. You know, me personally, I think the one that has uh, changed the most from when I played Season 1 all the way to Season 4 is Call of Duty World War II. Because I remember that game being a lot more focused on the divisions. However, halfway through the game's life cycle, they really started to change how the game played and basically made it a traditional Call of Duty. Which is not too bad in some instances, but it really killed what made World War II unique. And I really hope that they don't do this kind of thing with Modern Warfare 2. I don't think they can really go to the extreme with the way they laid out all the customization options. But I just have a feeling that somewhere down the line there's probably going to be some changes that aren't going to sit well with the community. But honestly, this isn't something new. I've waited a long time to get back into Call of Duty whenever something had interested me. And Modern Warfare 2019 was the one that actually caught my eye and I had pre-ordered as well. Who knows how the game is going to change out, whether it's going to be for the better or for the worse. But once you get the feel of it and you start picking up on the little sounds that the game emphasizes, this is a pretty good experience. And if you're going to get the game, I would highly recommend getting a disc, honestly. I am tired and tired of the endless uh, issues that I have with all of my other digital downloads from Call of Duty. So I am ending up getting this one on disc as well, just so that I can save a little bit of time with the download process. Because, God, do I hate it whenever I am trying to play a game and I basically have to almost download the entire game. Because for some reason, all of my files just get deleted. If you're also looking for an option to save you time on that, I would recommend getting it on PC. But if you're a console player like me, at least dominantly, then I would get the game on disc, honestly. Especially because if it's not working out for you, you can always go ahead and trade it in and uh, just know you ain't going to get the full amount back. But hey, I mean, it's better than not getting nothing back, am I right? Well, guys, I tried to keep this as brief as possible. Just give it a good, nice first impressions. I'm actually going to go ahead and play some sessions with some friends, so I'm going to see how my opinions change, and I'm pretty sure we're going to get into some wacky scenarios. So, all in all, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, like I said, content is coming pretty soon. I'm starting to actually feel a lot better, so be on the lookout for it. Like I said, we got JoJo, Star Battle R, Spider-Man, and Doom, and there's plenty of more where that's coming. So, feel free to stick around, leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you all so much for watching and take care.